Hi, how's it going? It's your favorite complainer, Dallin the Rogue. Today I'm gonna make a video talking a bit about the slow nerf and the case against it. The slow nerf that we're talking about is the nerf that rogues are getting. Age, spec of rogue, subtlety, assassination, outlaw are getting a nerf to their slows. The nerfs are as follows. Instead of nerfing people's or instead of slowing people by 50%, we'll be slowing them by 30. And I kind of want to break down what this slow nerf is all about. Uh, why I feel like it shouldn't go live, uh, my case against it, uh, just some more general thoughts. I first of all don't believe that the slow will make it to patch 7.1.5 as it's simply too much of a hindrance for PvP in my opinion. It is not that bad of a slow, it was not the worst nerf that rogues have ever gotten so far in Legion, we've gotten worse nerfs before, uh, before the 5% add you buff that we got, but I feel like the slow in the long run will make it fairly a little bit uncomfortable and annoying to play a rogue. So let's get to it. This isn't going to make this bosses run any slower. One, in PvE the slow makes no sense. We'll be making mobs in raids run slightly slower, but that's really about it. So this slow I feel like isn't PvE specific. And I want to say PvE, I mean like raiding and dungeon environment. Maybe the Brawler's Guild might have some slow. I'm just trying to look at all possibilities. Maybe the Wither training might be a little bit more, you know, on par to difficulty with everybody else. And maybe the level and aspect of the game, you won't be able to kite mobs as effectively. But I feel so far, from all the aspects of PvE versus PvP, this is a direct nerf to PvP. And I feel like there's no need for this nerf for rogues in PvP. Uh, I believe we are the only melee that is getting slowed, so if this was a change for like everybody else and slows weren't 50% about 30, I think it would be fine. Or if majority of classes or even half of classes in WoW had a 30% slow and a few had 50% slow, then I think would be okay in terms of like, okay, well this has happened to everybody. I remember Pharaohs I think had that slow, uh, but they reverted that. I was told on live stream and multiple uh, messages, uh, you know, it's like, hey Dal, uh, they reverted for us slow. When is Rogue slow gonna get reverted? And I'm like, I have no idea. Mobility wise, I would say Rogues are limited, even though I do talk about them being a fairly mobile class. Uh, subtlety can Shadow Strike, so be prepared for Mages and Hunters to keep you at a distance where you can't hit him from your shadow strike that has a 15 yard range. Uh, is an outlaw be prepared to grab true bearing and roll your bo bones until you get true bearing and then spend as many calm points as you can just so you can grapple and hook to your enemy every few seconds. As an assassination rogue, if this patch is to drop, be prepared to be throwing your poison knives until you melt at a distance because that's basically what's gonna be happening. I feel like in arenas this is going to be more of an issue, especially at a, a higher uh, rated version of the game. Uh, we finally get the 5% buff for Assassination Outlaw, and with the changes happening in 7.1.5, technically rogues are getting a slight tune up, more like some abilities are getting nerfed, but other abilities are getting buffed. Overall you're going to be dealing slightly more damage, but it's going to kind of take away from this source of damage and put it into this source of damage kind of deal, so they're reshuffling a few things here and there. But I feel that with the slow, if it has potential to be as bad as it seems on PTR so far, where I'm trying to chase after an elemental shaman, he has applied his slow, I'm applying my slow, and for the next 30 seconds I cannot grab on hook to him, uh, then if it's gonna be that bad, then rogues could see it again, you know, being replaced by one walkers and ferals, and it's like, I don't understand, Blizzard is gonna buff us by 5%, but then they're gonna nerf our slows. It just doesn't really make sense but I'll get to that in a sec. Uh, this is gonna make the mobility cooldowns a little bit more for rogues but I don't think rogues had real an issue in terms of mobility cooldowns. I don't really see assassination you know shadow stepping every few seconds. I do see uh, subtlety shadow striking every 15 yards every second or so but their damage is kind of scaled to the mobility that they have. The mass mobility and the damage kind of does equal out on its own. And then Outlaw has a grapple hook once in blue moon, but again, it's a once in a blue moon. And it's only buffed by true bearing, which you have to roll a thousand rolls before you get the buff you need. So let's be honest, I feel like rogues are pretty good in terms of mobility, and I don't think they're way too strong. They might be strong in terms of world PvP, but that's really as far as that goes, and I highly doubt they're making any changes regarding world PvP in World of Warcraft. If they are going to make this a thing, uh, I feel like the best, I feel like this, if, if this, if the changes were to come out as they are, 
I feel like there would need to be some kind of a fix to apply for this. Uh, I feel like if uh, Sprint was a shorter cooldown for PvP, so then with maneuverability, you could at least, you know, rely on a cooldown to be like, okay, I'm gonna get slow to this point, so I'll counter it with Sprint. Then I'm just gonna blink, I'm gonna grapple and hook over there. And at least you can have some kind of a play by play action happening. Or uh, buff Cut to the Chase to ignore all slows when you're near somebody. But now the way Cut to the Chase works is it takes your base speed without any slows applied. Your base speed versus the enemy's base speed. Rogues are moving at 15% faster than everybody at all times. So rogues are actually running at 115% movement speed. So to be able to apply Cut to the Chase for you properly, it's really really difficult unless you're playing against other rogues that are running Cut to the Chase or ferals or paladins or really any class that puts on a mobility based ability blinks don't count so against uh rest of druids that are blinking away with this placer beast and against mages who are blinking all over the map this doesn't really help all that much uh the only other thing i feel like blizzard could do which would basically fix everything is uh just remove the slow because i feel like this change is going to be a a bad change i don't think it's actually going to make any difference i don't think this change actually solves any specific rogue based issues if rogues are doing too much damage making their slows weaker isn't going to be the way to do it you simply would just have to go and adjust the abilities that are dealing too much damage but i guess blizzard doesn't like doing that because they like to buff agility and stamina and all that uh, base stats in general and hope that that's the fix hope that this is going to be the one it's going to be the one I feel like rogues are fine in terms of mobility of where they are. I feel like for them to be a fairly mobile class does kind of help them to be out there. Uh, helps, uh, especially helps subtlety out there, helps assassination, helps outlaw to be able to move around areas. With outlaw being a very bursty based spec, you basically are building up for a perfect buff. Then you grapple a hook over to the healer, burst him down as fast as you can. That's part of the fast swaps of the spec. Then we got Assassination who has the same slows as everybody else who doesn't really excel in mobility but still has Shadow Step once in a while to be able to step kick a healer, step stun a healer but for the most part they use it for the extra CC capabilities to really disrupt the healer just by a little bit. Then we have Subtlety who has a ton of mobility and Subtlety I guess is going to suffer the least out of this but their slows are also nerfed as well so it kind of makes no sense. I guess Blizzard, what they are trying to do with this uh, change is to maybe get rogues to use crappy talents like the one Subtlety has or the one that Outlaw Rogue has in hopes that these talents are going to be improved. But instead of buffing those talents, Blizzard likes to nerf baseline abilities like our slows in order to make those talents look a little bit more appealing. Which I feel like is not the way to fix anything when it comes to rogues, when it comes to PvP. Uh, it is the worst way of going about it, but it's a trend that Blizzard likes to do. So I'm making this video as a case against the slows. I don't think the slows are going to primarily change anything that is an actual issue to rogues. It is simply a nerf to our slows, allowing other melee to have the same amount of slows that they have, and those melee are able to deal uh, the same amount of damage, if not more than rogues. Then you are what you're doing basically is almost replacing rogues in one sense or another, which I don't think it's all that fun for rogues. I don't think it's all that fun for the community. I don't think it makes PvP any more fun. So my thoughts are: if this is doesn't sound like a good change, if this doesn't look like a good change, if this doesn't seem like a fun change, then what is the point? Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think about the slow change in the comments below. Hopefully, I'll just have to make just one video on this. I honestly don't believe this change will make it to 7.1.5. And if it does, I feel like it'll be reverted within a month. So, I'm honestly not too concerned. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see all of you in the next video.